Hey, Sound and Griever here. Welcome back to part two of short stories by Isaac Asimov that I recommend. And in this video, we're going to cover three of these short stories. And they are Nightfall, The Last Question, and The Segregationist. Now, I do recommend reading this in text form if you are a reader, but I highly recommend listening to these stories through radio dramas. And in the description below, I'm going to give you links that will send you directly to the dramas that I particularly enjoyed. Now, let's just talk about uh, briefly these short stories, uh, starting with the one of shortest duration, and that is The Segregationist. And that is with this audio drama or radio drama at the time, uh, that is sitting under 14 minutes. And it's conceptually very interesting. It deals with robots. It deals with the lore, you know, the robot series lore that Isaac Asimov is well known for. And uh, it, it really deals with um, a kind of a protagonist, but you're really in this man's perspective. And um, you've got the, the concept of man versus robot or what is man and what is a robot and, and, and the conflict um, that really does interplay with this story, or at least it has you guessing with this story. Um, of course, it is insinuated and also spelled out in other stories. So if you want to know more about the robot world that Isaac Asimov so wonderfully established, then The Segregationist is a wonderful tale to listen to. And it's under 14 minutes, so it's basically a coffee break. Now, the next one, sitting at just under 27 minutes, is Nightfall. Now, I did mention Nightfall before. This is a particularly intriguing story. It's very engaging with the tension involved, um, involving the premise, involving the setting, involving the world building. So with The Segregationist, it's, it's conceptually interesting, but it's not tense. With Nightfall, it is very tense. And, and the vocal work, the acting involved in this radio drama is very, very good. There are times where there, there are just moments where I just kind of jump out of my skin a little bit because the, the vocal acting is, the voice acting, I should say, is so well done. And then you've got these dramatic music interludes involving the orchestra. And so I highly recommend just, you know, sitting in a chair or, or you know, just lying down and just enjoying kind of the, the, the tension involved with Nightfall. I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially when you really do like something with a lot of uh, intensity and, and even action. So Nightfall is, I would say, five out of five stars as far as short stories go. And finally, sitting under just under 37 minutes is the last question. And the one I recommend, the, the link that I'm putting in the description below, is the radio drama involving Leonard Nimoy with his narration. It is wonderfully done. It's, it's well produced. And it really does give you that kind of, um, well, yeah, Star Trek, obviously. But, but really, as far as the sounds are concerned and the music, um, it really does give you that old um, forbidden planet feel. I do, I, I will warn you that the sound effects might be a little overwhelming. It's, it's kind of, you know, it's not well mixed because it was produced, you know, I don't know when that audio drama was produced. Uh, the story was written in uh, 1956 or something like that. Uh, so, so the audio quality is very limited and it's very, I would say, lo-fi. Um, so if you can get over the sound effects, um, it's really it's very conceptually interesting. Now, I would say, like as it is with Nightfall, it's conceptually scary. It's, it's very frightening. But whereas Nightfall involves the, the temporal time, fr the time frame, I should say, uh, uh, of being one day or one night or, or the falling of, 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 of the darkness that, is, that we know to be as night. Um, the last question involves trillions of years but it's still frightening uh, the, the, it's, it's it's very scary the premise is very scary and i don't want to spoil anything i would just you know it's under 37 minutes i would just treat it like a tv show you know cook dinner take a walk and then have you kind of guess where where it's going um i i will say there is a little bit not 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 too not too bad but uh there is something um I would say a little bit antithetical to the Christian belief, you know, the Christian 
myth that is the creation story. So if you are a Christian, um, there is a little bit of a moment that's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, you know, that it's, it's, a, it's a playful parody of the creation story. Um, but at the same time, even without that at the, well, I won't say where it is. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very intriguing. I, I would give it one listen. Just give it one listen. Um, so those are the three short stories that I recommend. Yeah, read it, you know, if, if, you, if you have a book or um, compilation of short stories in, involving the text. But if you want a really good audio production worth uh, The Segregationist is wonderful. Nightfall is fantastic. And even with the overwhelming sound effects of The Last Question, you've got Leonard Nimoy and you've got other really phenomenal voiceover work as, as you progress through that story, through that very fascinating 37 minutes. So those are my recommendations uh, for part two of Isaac Asimov and his short stories. I hope you like that. And until I see you next, keep producing, preserving the wonderful art and literature that you love. And I will catch you later. Thanks.